Good morning, second graders. Today is Wednesday, April 8th. I am missing each one of you so very much. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and healthy. Today I'm going to read a book called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mullen. While we read the book today, I want you to think about what the title means. What does Stand Tall mean for this story, would you think? As you look at the cover, you can see the main character, Molly Lou Mellon. We are also going to hear an important message in our story today that can apply to everybody, whether kids or adults. And we'll talk about that when we're done reading the story. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Look at her teeth. That's what buck teeth are when they stick out really far like that. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. And fumble-fingered means she'd often drop things and be kind of clumsy as she handled them. So she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. I'm sure she was very sad. Her grandma was one person that always supported her and believed in her and helped her believe in herself. She had to start at a new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the rest of the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked them high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. I'm sure that's not a trick that everybody can do by stacking 10 pennies on her buck teeth. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, you sound like a sick duck, honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack, 
so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and odd, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. Ah, so we can see in the story that Ronald Durkin is changing his mind about Molly Lou Mellon, isn't he? It took four days, but finally he's thinking, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be making fun of her. She's pretty good at this stuff. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. That was nice of her to write her grandma and tell her thank you. Because her grandma was right in everything she told her, wasn't she? So what do you think, boys and girls? the words stand tall meant in the title of the book. It means to be very proud of yourself, to always be proud of yourself. And when you're proud of yourself, you stand tall. So that's what that means. The message in the story was that if you believe in yourself, then others will believe in you and like you. So if you like yourself, others will like you too. And that's what Molly's grandma, Molly Lou's grandma tried to tell her, right? If you believe in yourself, the world will believe in you too. So if you like yourself, then others will like you as well. That is something that we can all relate to, even kids and adults. So always be confident in who you are because each one of you is very special. So I want you to repeat after me. I am very special. That's right, second graders, you are very special. And I'm missing each one of you and I can't wait for us to be back together again soon. Tune in tomorrow for a very special message from all three second grade teachers. Have a great day, Knights. Bye.